The platform theme beyond politics, a new tribe of Africans arising who are changing the face of the continent. They are using their gifts and talents, not just for the accumulation of personal wealth, but to lift the collective. They are channels and not containers. The platform is powered by Covenant Christian Center. The platform. You're welcome back to The Platform Studio. And if you're just tuning in, you're still watching The Platform, coming to you live from the Covenant Place, Igomu. And it's been an amazing morning. We've listened to, well, five speakers, starting with the introduction by Pastor Poji himself, very powerful. We went to the first speaker, Inyolua Boyeji, co-founder and Delan Flutterwave. We listened to Yvonne Benson Idahosa, founder of Pathfinders Justice Initiative. We also had Oscar Ekwonimo, his amazing work with Chalberry, and then now Otto Orondam, and his amazing children from Makoko, who literally took over <laughs> from Otto's presentation. And I'm sure that if you've been watching, it's a mixture of emotions. We've been inspired, motivated. We've been passionately fired up to shine your light, you know, get lit. Well, with me in the studio right now is one of our speakers who we just listened to, Yvonne Benson Dahosa. Thank you for coming to the platform. Thank you. And your, your speaking was very, was very inspiring. But I think at the same time, could be said to be heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. Obviously, because of the work you're doing in human and sex trafficking, and I mean, you, this story of faith and the unfortunate incidents, and that's just one of thousands that we do not know. But my question is, you talked about hope. And you said how one of the reasons why this is happening is because youths have lost hope. Absolutely. How do we restore hope in the yeah. average Nigerian who is thinking, look, I've heard all these English people are speaking, but my life right now, I can't see the way forward. Mm -hmm. How do you think I'm going to restore hope? Yeah, you know, I think one of the, that's one of the things that I mentioned, you know, is that, is that a lot of our youth are leaving the country not because they've given up on Nigeria, but because the, they believe that the country has actually given up on them. And, you know, the, 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 that's something that the traffickers are able to manipulate, right, take advantage of by giving this false sense of hope. And so I think what we're trying to do is to get our young people to realize that they are part of the solution, right, and it's granting access. You know, because a lot of times many of these young women feel as if, yeah, that's well and good for you. Right. And, you know, but what, what are the chances for me? What is the, my reality is that, you know, I'm the one who's making that 400 naira every, mm -hmm. day, every, every day to try to feed and support my family. But what we're saying is that, no, there's actually hope. Let's grant you access so that you can actually be able to do the things that your life has called you to do. And what does that look like? What were your original dreams? What are the things that you, that initially inspired you? And how can we then connect? that to your reality and make that happen so for someone watching now maybe traffic maybe thinking about it because mm -hmm. it was interesting the first uh, in your video in the video we had done the first girl mm -hmm. actually had a situation where she had lost her mother and she felt the only thing she could do mm -hmm. was human trafficking mm -hmm. which you know is strange but like you said it's become endemic almost in a society mm -hmm. what is the way forward for a young person watching like what even if you've been in that situation how do they begin to find a way out? Mm -hmm. You know, I think part of the frustration for a lot of um, young women and migrants in general that are repatriating back to Nigeria is that they have repatriated back to the exact same conditions exactly. that rendered them vulnerable in the exactly. first place. And so what we're doing is trying to create a soft landing to say, look, okay, you've come back home now, um, but what is, what, does, what, is your, what are the possibilities that, that, that we could make happen with you in partnership? So it's not us trying to force you know, our will upon a migrant. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, or returnee, our, our, our projects are saying to them, what are your original dreams? What does rehabilitation look like for you? Mm -hmm. And so we're offering what, all the services that we offer in partnership with what act, they actually want to do um, in their own lives. And so I think what we're trying to say is that you can dream again. Nigeria is, is a wealth of possibilities if we can actually connect the reality of what people are suffering to what other people have access to. Mm, fantastic. And on a final note, you left your job. <laughs> I, said, I, 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 I want to actually say to everybody, please, you don't all have to resign. We need you to fund us. So please, stay in your jobs. <laughs> please, we 
we need you to support the work that we're doing because I think a lot of people feel they're inspired after they hear a lot of speakers. Exactly. Today. Everybody wants to, what can I do, what can I do? Please don't resign. We also need you to support all, not just my work, obviously, but all the great work and, and the, from the speakers that you've heard today. So not everybody is called to do the, you know, front head-on um, work. So just, just to say that. Very Thank quickly. you, too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because that gives a clear inspired and just in, they're just gone Monday. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yvonne did it, I can do it. Right. But we, everybody has made it seem easy. Yeah. Like it's just easy to get into this kind of work. Are there some challenges that you face and how do you constantly overcome the challenges of the work that you do? Yeah. I think the first thing is that you have to be assured this is what you've been called to do. I mean, you have to have 100%, 200% certainty that this is what you've been called to do because there are going to be considerable setbacks. You know, for me, for someone who, was, who had a lucrative salary, you know, who didn't have to, you know, depend or think about, you know, my tomorrow, you know, the other side of it is that I've now been in a position where I do have to be constantly aware aware of that. And so, so financially, you know, there have definitely been, you know, challenges, but um, the, the, the trade-off is that I've, I've, I'm now walking in my purpose. I'm working, mm. walking in fulfillment. You know, there's also been, I think, trying to address the mindset. You know, Nigeria, we're very judgmental. We're yeah. very, very judgmental about people, you know, there but for the grace of God. I mean, it could have been you, it could have been me, right? And so trying to get people to, to exchange compassion for yeah. their judgment has also been very challenging because we're so divided on so many superficial kind of issues. And so trying to get people al to align on the things that we do agree on, whether it's just our shared humanity, yeah. the basics of our shared humanity should be more than enough for us to connect on any issue. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the amazing yeah. work that you're doing. Please support, support, support her work and all the wonderful things that we've heard today. And I like the fact that you said it again. Don't just resign. No, don't just resign. <laughs> but if you're, if you're interested in working with us, certainly please send an email to volunteer at pathfindersji.org. Thank you. Fantastic. Thanks. But going back to the sessions now. Now, remember that uh, the challenge that Pastor put out this morning. So if you know that you have something you've already started or an idea that you have, send an email to platformcommunityproject at gmail.com. That's one word, platformcommunityproject. No more than 500 words, nothing too long. But just let us see the kind of work that you are doing or you aspire to do. And you never know, you just might be selected to be sponsored and supported because everyone needs support. But we're still going back now to the main hall. We still have four more amazing speakers. Musumula Omoru, Bosun Tijani. We have, obviously, Dr. Victor Oladukun. And finally, Adekwe Jujayoba. So we're going back to the main hall now where the platform continues. <laughs>